Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about the plagiarism tool in Brightspace. The plagiarism checking tool is located under the assignments tab and plagiarism checker. First, using the tool, you receive a message. Application customization configuration by desire to learn incorporated is trying to access your information. Would you like to proceed with the option to not show this message again? You have to agree to use it or you can't use the plagiarism checking tool. The plagiarism checker tool has student and instructor versions. Both allow for different features. I'm going to start with the instructor version since teachers will need to enable the plagiarism checker for each assignment. This must be done before students submit work or error messages will occur. Once assignments have been submitted, either by text box or document file, the instructor will be able to review them in the assignments overview table. Simply click on the link for the assignment you wish to review and you'll be taken to the submissions details page. Here you will see the assignments submitted by each student. According to multiple sources, processing times average one hour, but can take up to 24 hours. In my limited experience in making this video, I found that most submissions often get results within 20 minutes. Once processing is complete, the submissions table will say analyzed. Then each assignment will display with a significant score percentage. If you click on the title of the assignment, you can either view the report or submit feedback. Viewing the report will take you to the full Erkin dashboard for the assignment, which I'll talk about later. As an instructor, you have two options to allow students to view their significance scores. You can choose to allow students to see their similarity report upon submission. If the assignment allows for or requires multiple draft submissions, this should be turned on so that students can get their significance scores for each draft as they submit. If the option is left off, students will have an awaiting release message. Until you submit feedback on the assignment, submission feedback, even if left blank, will allow the students to see their significance score. Now I'll discuss the student view. The student view will vary depending on what options the instructor chose to enable. As I mentioned, the instructor section, processing time for the tool usually only takes an hour, but can go up to 24 hours. So if you're submitting a draft paper, you want to make sure you have time to make corrections. Make sure you submit your draft with plenty of time before to do. I would suggest at least three days. That way you get results for your second draft too, and all well before your final draft is due, so you have time to make corrections. After processing is complete, the status box will change to analyzed or analyzed awaiting release. If you see the awaiting release version, your results will not be shown until your teacher has submitted feedback on your assignment. Then you will see a significant score, which is how much of your work the plagiarism checker deems to be copied. The higher percentage, the more of a copy the work is, which is bad. Aim for low scores, which means more original work or properly cited work. As a student, you will see three options when you go to review your results. View report takes you to the full Erkin report about the assignment. Opt out allows you to request that your assignment is removed from the Erkin storage system. This will keep your document private, but would prevent the plagiarism tool from catching people who are plagiarizing your work and even you. And yes, you can plagiarize yourself if you use portions of your previous work and forgot to quote it in your sources. Submissions feedback lets you view your teacher's feedback on your assignment. Now, whether you are a student or a teacher, the view report page is the same. You will have an analysis, different sections. Findings will list the violations the tools found or some warnings if they're oddly worded and it's not quite sure. Similarity is the percentage of how much is it similar to other works. Again, the lower the score, the better. Submission details uh, has the file name, the date submitted, the word count of the document, and other identifying information. Under the filing column, you will see a matching text. When clicked, you will see the exact results of the plagiarism checker. You can then click through all the results. This will help you fix any problems in your paper. Something to keep in mind, sometimes sources in your bibliography will be listed here. If your citation is in MLA versus someone else's submitted paper who submitted the same source and they're in APA, Two are technically the same, but not quite alike. So the plagiarism tool picks this up as a copy. You can ignore these as long as you properly cited your work. The source tab on the findings page will list all the sources from your bibliography or reference page with links to go to them. This is a really helpful feature for teachers because all you gotta do is click and you can go right and see the source yourself. The entire documents tab will bring up your entire submission with the findings highlighted. This was useful to know where in your paper corrections are needed very helpful for students. If you would like an offline copy of the report, there is an export analysis report as PDF option on the little down arrow top right of the screen. 
When you are done viewing the report, you can simply close the browser tab and open. Once you are done, all you have to do is choose another Brightspace option or log out. That's all for today, and we'll see you next time.